because it happens every time heavy rains take place. So they're working to help clean up the beach. 30 tons of plastic has been collected in three days. Most of it will go to a landfill, with some of it being reused to create recycled products. Now, Pinpoint Weather, brought to you by the Phantom of the Opera, August 23rd to September 2nd at the San Diego Civic Theater. And it's so easy for that stuff just to get into the ocean. Oh my gosh, yeah. All the time. So much pollution in the You've ocean. You've got to take it in, take it out, all yeah, the time. Yeah, you have to wonder if uh, the recent hurricanes have just moved some of the, mm -hmm. the trash that's been mm -hmm. sitting at the bottom of the, of the ocean and it's just now coming back yeah. up. There's yeah. so much pollution out there. We really have to do our job to clean our beaches here in San Diego and pretty much all over the world. In Pacific Beach, it is the place to be, but of course, in order to enjoy the ocean, we have to keep it clean. A lot of people taking advantage of the nice weather on this Friday. It is nice and pleasant right now, 75 degrees here in our station. And you can see those numbers at the coast, 74 to 77 water temperature. It is balmy right now. It is 76 in downtown San Diego. Sunset tonight will be at 755 and this is comfortable. Get ready. An excessive heat warning highlighted here in this magenta color. It starts on Monday morning at 10 a.m. and it will continue all the way through Thursday of next week. But the heat is going to be here all week along the coastline. We have a heat advisory in this area. The risk for excessive heat is going to be moderate, much higher as you make your way closer to areas like Escondido, Poway, Ramona and even Lakeside and El Cajon. As we take a look farther into the weekend, low clouds at the coast heat wave taking over next week. The heat will peak on Tuesday and Wednesday. Those will be just the two days that is just the worst high pressure taking over through the plains four corners and expanding into the southwest this is going to keep those temperatures above average from California all the way back to Texas and even into areas like Colorado and up into the plains. The temperatures will be so excessive that some of our inland communities could be close to 100 degrees by Wednesday tonight. 61 in Ramona, 68 in Carlsbad, and 70 degrees in San Diego. So as we move into tomorrow, still going to be comfortable as we compare the numbers, of course, to next week. 84 Poway, pretty close to seasonable in Spring Valley with 81 degrees. Mission Beach, 74, 79 Lemon Grove, La Mesa, 82 degrees for you tomorrow, 85 in Escondido. Vista, 77, 77 in Encinitas and Palomar Mountain, 80 degrees and 88 in Valley Center. So we have a little bit of everything for tomorrow. Depending where you are, it's going to be hot. And if not, you can always head over to Point Loma where it's going to be a little bit better, but next week is going to be just so hot that we're going to have to start thinking about where to go. If you don't have air conditioning, if you're at the coast with temperatures close to 90 on Tuesday and Wednesday, a good idea to think about where to go with your kids, maybe some cooling centers. Also, there's always the option of heading into malls or libraries with air conditioning. Inland areas 85 to 87 this weekend by next week, starting with 94 on Monday. And it's still going to be in the 90s even by Friday. In the mountains, temperatures around 81 degrees for tomorrow. County administration building. You need to make sure they have the fountains on. It's oh, a yes. great place to take your kids. Yeah, to good go idea to just start thinking about where, yeah. where to go. Yeah. Well, we'll start coming up with a list. <laughs>